welcome to MVSU News on WBSD TV. Hello and welcome to WVSD TV. My name is Morgan Roselle and I'm reporting from Mississippi Valley State University. Here giving you news on a national, state, and local level. More than 100 million American workers will need to be fully vaccinated by January 4th. Biden's administration announced Thursday that his vaccine rules apply to private businesses with 100 or more employees, certain health care workers, and federal contractors. This will take effect January 4th, 2022. The rules state that employees that fall into these groups will need to have received the necessary shots to be fully vaccinated. Up next in state news, Mississippi revises a way to change gender on driver licenses. Mississippi begins to simplify the process for people to change their gender de designation on driver's licenses or, on, or identification cards issued by the State Department of Public Safety. The Sun Herald reported that the department in October created a form people can fill out to change their gender marker on the licenses or ID cards. From male to female or female to male, the form does not have the non-binary option. Up next in local news, a woman who allegedly crashed into a vehicle killing a mother and son has a history of DUIs. Beth Ann White, the driver who killed Allison Conaway and her six-month-old son, is no stranger to the criminal justice system. The 51-year-old has DUIs that date back to August 2008. Initially, she was charged and pleaded guilty to a felony DUI, being sentenced to five years in prison. But courts decided to suspend four of those years, so she served a one-year probation house arrest, paid a $1,000 fine, and was sent to alcohol and drug treatment. This concludes my broadcast. Thank you for tuning in to WVSD TV. My name is Morgan Roselle, and until next time, stay healthy and stay well. Thank you so much for tuning in to MBSU News on WVSD TV.